This piece of equipment is an old galvanometer. In fact, it's so old that the plastic's Bakelite. What it has is a bright spot on it. The bright spot indicates at this moment that there's no current flowing through the coil, the copper coil that it's connected to. If there was a current flowing through there, then the bright spot would indicate how much current was flowing through. So we have a copper wire and I have a magnet on a stick. Everyone should have a magnet on a stick. Very important. If I bring this magnet towards the copper wire, the light swings. Once I hold it still, it goes back to its original position. So it's only when the magnet is moving that we actually get a current induced in the copper wire. So we have, pull the magnet out and it moves, in the, cop the electricity goes in the other direction. Push it in and it swings to your left, pull it out, it swings to your right. So what's going on here? What I'm doing with this magnet on a stick is creating a moving magnetic field. A moving magnetic field causes electrons to run around in the copper wire and you can see the current from it. So it's a small demonstration. How does the light move? Inside the machine there's a thin um, piece of wire with a mirror on it and as the current moves through it the wire twists and the mirror reflects the light to different places on the screen. So the slightest movement in or away from the copper wire changes the magnetic field causing the current to run around in the wire which deflects the light. So a simple demonstration of the interaction between electric and magnetic fields.